Hello boys and girls and welcome back to language. We will continue with our possessive pronouns today. Do you remember one of your possessive pronouns? Can you think about it right now? Okay, whisper to your imaginary friend beside you or a friend beside you what one possessive pronoun was. Okay. Did you maybe say his, or hers, or theirs, or mine, my? Oh, there's so many you could have said. So today we will continue to identify possessive pronouns in a sentence. We will write the correct pronoun to complete the sentence. So today we're actually gonna be writing the pronoun. And this is important so we can become better writers. We want our writing to be the best it can. So let's keep going. So yesterday we reviewed our pronouns. I think you guys probably know these by now, like he or him, she or her, and now we have his and hers, it or now it's, and now we have they, them, and their. Uh, we could say I for me, you, he, him, she, her, they, them, it, we, us. I know you guys know this already, right? Awesome. All right, so we reviewed yesterday the possessive pronouns. The pronouns my, your, his, and her show that a person or animal has or owns something. These pronouns can come before a noun. So would you like some of my pizza? The pizza is mine, it belongs to me. Your salad looks good. Owen ate all of his grapes. Owen is a boy, the grapes belong to him. Holly washes her hands after lunch. Holly has her own hands, so they belong to Holly, so we say her hands. All right, and then we also talked about that word, that big long word, and then we put this thing, it's what this thing is called with an S. Do you remember that? Did you say apostrophe? Oh my goodness, double thumbs up if you got that right, and double pat on the back if you remembered that word. That is a tricky word. Let's try to say it again together. Apostrophe. It's four syllables. That's a really long word. All right, so our apostrophe looks like this, if you remember it. And we always have apostrophe S on the end. So let's go through these examples one more time so we remember. So we can say this is my pencil, or we could say the pencil is mine. It belongs to me. We could also say I am using your chalk. Or the chalk is yours, it belongs to you. And then we have our last two that have our apostrophe. So let's look at those. Tim's dog is black. So we have our apostrophe S, that means the dog belongs to Tim. It is Tim's dog, only Tim. Or Fran's dog is brown with our apostrophe S, which means the dog belongs to Fran. It's Fran's dog. All right, so here are some of our examples again. We have mine, yours, his, hers, or its, and that's all singular. Do you remember how many singular is? Is it one? Is it two? Is it 10? Singular is just one. Remember our singular, and usually singular ends with our S. Our plural, we have ours, yours, and theirs. So that is plural, that's more than one. It can be two, it can be four, it can be six, it could be eight, or it could be 10. It could be a million more than that, we don't know. All right, so I'm gonna keep going because we did this yesterday. 
All right, let's look at some of our examples though. Remember that we shorten it with apostrophes because we don't want it to be so long, like this one. The dog that belongs to Miss Moore is nice. That's so long. We can shorten it with that apostrophe S. So we say Miss Moore's apostrophe S dog is nice. We know the dog belongs to Miss Moore. It's her dog only. The jacket that belongs to John is fuzzy. That's a lot of words to use for just talking about a jacket. So to shorten it, we're gonna use that apostrophe S and we're gonna say John's jacket is fuzzy with our apostrophe S. Give me a thumbs up if you're getting this. Awesome. All right, and then our possessive pronouns. Mine, yours, his, hers, their, and theirs also show that something belongs to someone. These pronouns often come at the end of a sentence. So when we're using the word mine, yours, his, hers, their, and theirs, we can think that it's probably going to be at the end of a sentence, okay? Like, this tent is mine. It is my tent. That sleeping bag is hers. Belongs to her. Or, the backpacks are theirs. Theirs. They belong to them. Okay, so let's practice. Let's find the correct pronoun for our sentences. So these are going to come at the end of our sentence. So we're just going to practice with the ones that come at the end. And you probably heard them and you probably say them a lot too. You don't even know it. So it is your ball. It is, let's look down here. Which ones are we going to use? Yours, mine, ours, hers, theirs, or his. If it's your ball, it is Yours, we're gonna use yours, Y-O-U-R-S, yours. All right, number two, let's look and see if we can find the correct one for that one. It is my bag. So it is, hmm, can you just think what you might use? It is my bag, so it is mine. This is mine, it's my bag, get away from it mine. You probably say that a lot, especially if you have brothers or sisters. Number three, it is our car. It is blank. So we have yours, mine, ours, sorry this thing keeps popping up, hers, theirs, or his. So it is our car. Hmm, which one are you going to say? It is ours. Touch your ears if you said that. Awesome. Number four, it is her cup. So it is hers. Good job. Number five, it is their key. So it is theirs. Tap your head if you said that. Awesome. And the last one that we're practicing with is number six. It is his coat. So it is, this one's easy, his. We just use the same word. Awesome. All right, so let's keep going and see what you are going to be doing today on your own. All right, so on your own, you can either use your journal to write the sentences and the correct answer, or you can write it inside the blank with your pencil tool on Google Classroom whichever your teacher or your parent wants you to do. All right, so we are going to write the correct pronoun to complete each sentence. So number one, I like blank shoes. So I like you shoes or I like your shoes. Hmm. It's your. All right, give me a thumbs up if you did that. You got your. Awesome, that's the only one I'm doing with you now. So I like your shoes should be the correct answer. 
And number two, the cat chases her tail or the cat chases her tail. There's only one cat. All right, write your answer on the line. And number three, Sam gives his friend a present or Sam gives him friend a present? Hmm, what are you going to put there? Awesome, Sam gives, oh, I'm not telling you. Whoopsies, Miss Moore almost gave you one more answer. But I bet you were thinking the right one. Number four, bring blank pillow and blanket. Bring your pillow and blanket or bring you pillow and blanket? Hmm, write it on the line. And number five, we can play at me house or we can play at my house. Hmm, which one is it? Write it on your line. All right, if you are done and you've checked your work, you can upload to Google Classroom and click turn in. If you did it on Google Classroom, make sure you click save. If you did it in your journal, then get those pics, please. So today we talked again about possessive pronouns. Can you name one possessive pronoun right now? Whisper it to yourself. Awesome job, guys. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.